Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a new video again. I'm just pumping these things out since Combat Arms decided to actually allow us to mod things. Uh, funny joke, they didn't actually allow it, but you know what I mean. Because today I wanted to make a video. I've realized something with newer computers and old games. So games like, uh, for example, I've had trouble in the past with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit that came out in 2010. Combat Arms has been giving me trouble. Um, even 1320 Challenge was giving me some trouble. So I knew about this project just from a friend of mine um, over on a Discord server. I happened to just find this on his uh, on his GitHub account. And it's called an old CPU emulator. So as we all know, or you know, hopefully understand, um, the CPU is obviously the part of the computer that's the processor. That's the basic brains behind the entire unit. This is a really cool little tool that he made that I've loved using lately. I'm using it with just about everything I can. So basically the point of this is it's a command line tool that emulates a process on a CPU with a slower clock speed in order to make old games run at the correct speed or underclock CPU intensive processes like video encoding. So basically the way you use it is old CPU emulator, whatever the executable you wanna run is, found out it works with batch files too. And then the target rate, and you can also do these options. So there's a bunch of different options. So I'll tell you how I do it on 1320 Challenge, for example, is I do old emulator, old CPU emulator 1320, or cgrclient.exe, target rate, I run at 1,000. Um, 1,000 being one gigahertz. And then I also do a refresh rate of 120, so I do dash R120, and then I set process priority to high, and I sync it, uh, I do set, I basically do everything. So I set the target rate to a gigahertz, I set the refresh rate to 120, um, I set the process priority to high, I set the affinity to one, and then I have it run on the main thread only. So the reason I do priority high is just so it runs better, and then I do affinity one so it seems like a single core processor, and then on the main thread only, so it's doing everything on the main thread. I got far less lag on 1320 Challenge when I did that. Now, I did it on Combat Arms a little bit differently because I was lagging hard. I didn't like it, it sucks. I was lagging. So I came in and I had the old CPU emulator right here and my emu.bat is right here. All you have to do for this is old CPU emulator.exe fixed engine.bat. I set this to 2.9 gigahertz, which is 2900, and a refresh rate of 60. That's all I did when it came to this. I basically just throttled my processor um, and set myself up to just run the game that way. And the game lags far less. It's amazing. I have I lost pretty much all the lag that I had, which was a lot. I was lagging just about every three seconds it would skip like a whole entire set of frames. So I started running it that way and Combat Arms was running amazingly. I haven't tried it on Need for Speed Underground yet, or Need for Speed Hot Pursuit yet, um, but usually with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit I have to set the affinity anyway. So basically set affinity. Hold on, are you still going to be able to see me? You can no longer see me. Ah crap, one sec. Uh, display capture. Okay, I broke it. Nice. There we go. So I switched back and now it works. Sorry, lots of problems with Streamlabs and OBS lately. But basically, set affinity is something that lets you uh, control how many threads or cores your uh, that program is getting. So if you go set affinity, I can change this all the way down to just one and make it run on a single core, basically. It's like emulating less cores on your processor. So I run Combat Arms that way, and it runs so much better. It's very easy to get this. You just go clone or download, download the zip, and then what you're going to need from inside here, you don't really need the source code or anything. That's not very needed really the only thing you're going to need and i'll show you in a second when it's done whenever it finishes give it a second my internet speed's been garbage lately too so 
You want to download it, open it up, open here, go to debug, and all you need is this exe. Just drag and drop that into your folder. So obviously I already did that. And then create your batch file, which looks like this. So at echo off, um, old CPU emulator.exe, fixed engine.bat, since I'm using the res bypassed. Or you would do engine.exe and then dash t2500 dash r60. So you want to basically just match the refresh rate that your, the game is actually putting out. Since I'm playing at 1080p, but it's in windowed mode on a 4K monitor, I only get 60 hertz refresh rate. So I don't want to run higher than that because it's pointless. So that's all you need to do, and the game will run far better. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was it. This is an awesome project. I love the entire thing, and it, I'm going to be testing it on just about every game I play. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. I have said that like 19 times. I know. I'll, I'm just going to shut up now.